Hello everybody, Mac here. Welcome back to the show. We are back in the studio, the first time in 2024. If you missed my New Year's video, Happy New Year everyone. I hope everybody had a happy and safe one, and I hope everybody had, you know, a joyous holiday season. Today is Friday. It is January 5th. It is technically the last day of Christmas, if you count in the whole 12 days of Christmas. And I had promised that I would do a review, take a look at the Star Wars Black Series Holiday Edition Purge Trooper, because mine came late, so I didn't get to do it before the holiday season, before Christmas, so I figured, why not today? Today's as good a day as any, and like I said, with it being the final day of Christmas, why not? So here we have it, the Holiday Edition Star Wars Black Series Purge Trooper. We have it in that special holiday packaging where the snowflake is actually made up, if you take a look here, is made up of the Purge Trooper's helmet and the silhouette of the mouse droid that we get with this. So it is the standard, well I believe it's the standard holiday packaging that the Black Series Holiday Troopers come in. Big window so you see everything that you get. A Star Wars version of the two from tag over here on the side. A window with a bow. Window up top. Mush down below. And on the back, we just have more jargon along with celebrate the season with specially designed Star Wars figures from the Black Series. So that is all that we have for the packaging. But before we go on, please remember that I have started a coffee page and I explain the reasons why I have started doing this. It's only a dollar to join, but I really want to try and build up, you know, this this collector, a toy collector community so that we can all, you know, talk about the things that we love, which is mostly action figures, toys, things like that. There is a link to it in the description below, and if you check out that video from the beginning of the year, I kind of explain why I'm doing it, what we're getting into, what the purpose is, and now that I say it out loud, I really need to put a um, introduction video up on the coffee page as well. Also, remember, if you want this figure, you can get yourself one at Entertainment Earth. Entertainment Earth is your one-stop shop for all toys, clothing, collectibles, and more. Get the newest from Hasbro, Mattel, Bandai, and Super 7, as well as exclusives that can't be found anywhere else. With over 25 years in the business, Entertainment Earth has what you want. Click the link in the description below. Okay, here he is, our Holiday Purge Trooper, out of the box and putting the tape measure to him. We can see that he is approximately six inches to the top of his helmet. Okay, so first off, let me start this off by saying what most of you who have watched the show probably know, I do not collect Star Wars Black Series figures. I also have fallen so far off the Star Wars bandwagon that I am i don't even know what the Purge Trooper is. I haven't watched any of the shows. I think it was Book of Boba Fett he was in, or maybe was it Obi-Wan that the Purge Troopers showed up? I can't remember. Don't know anything about the Purge Troopers. So I don't have any way of gauging it versus the on-screen version of the figure or of the character. Obviously, the trooper doesn't look like a nutcracker. So I'm just going to be basing this off of what I have in hand. And what I have in hand, looks-wise, looks really good. I'm actually kind of disappointed. I'm actually a lot disappointed that the Purge Trooper, that this one got here so late because this is my favorite of the holiday figures, not just of this year, but basically of every year they've put a figure out. As a matter of fact, this and the Snowman Snow Trooper that I did last month is the only, or are the only holiday figures that I've ever picked up from the Black Series. That's how impressive this one was to me. I mean, the bright reds, the golds, the gold piping here on the shoulder pad, the gold paint job to make it look like a crown around the top of his helmet, the swirly-twirly sort of like metallic gold plastic for the shoulder pads. I love how they did the boots. The only thing that I would criticize is that I think they should have done the boots all the way to the top, all the way to these peaked points instead of cutting it off at the knee pads. Other than that, I think the paint deco, I think the look of this, I think this is all fantastic. When I first pulled it out of the box, I was almost going to mention something even about having this cloth goods skirt. But the more I thought about it, 
I think cloth goods are more common in the Black Series than they are with something like Hasbro Legends and G.I. Joe Classified, so this probably isn't really even that big of a deal if you collect the Black Series. The first criticism I have of it, though, is... I don't know if you can hear that, but this feels like it's made from very brittle, very cheap, very hollow plastic. When I pulled it out of the box and I was first playing around with it and, like, moving it around, I was constantly worried that, like, something was going to crack or I was going to break something, except for the helmet and the headpiece. But the feet, the ankles, the arms, the torso here, I, mean, I don't know if you can hear that, but it's so very just thin plastic, thin, brittle, cheap-feeling plastic. The other issue is that with this cord coming underneath the arm, you can't really bring the arm down very well. Now, if you pop the head off, you can take this shoulder pad off. Just pop it off, bring it up, and then you can just have, you know, your Purge Trooper like that without the shoulder pad on. That it's, it's, once you have it on though, it kind of looks like it's missing something without it. So we'll just pop this back on. So I think it looks just so much better with the shoulder pad on. So that will take us to the articulation, that the head will do a full 360 spin. It can look up fairly well. It can look down okay. There's no side-to-side -side tilt, but from what I've seen, I don't think many of the stormtroopers have tilt in the head. Arms will do a full 360. There's no butterfly joint in there. Arms can come up to 90, or arms can come up just to there because this piece gets in the way. It is doubly egregious on this side because not only does the shoulder pad that's on the figure get in the way, but this shoulder pad gets in the way as well. We do have a bicep swivel. We have double jointed elbows that eh, it's only goes up a little bit past 90, if past 90 at all. The way that it's cut, they don't really have a great amount of travel. And I think, I think this is one of the first times Black Series has double jointed elbows because most of the ones that I've seen have only single joint, but not being a collector, I shouldn't really say much about that. Wrists pivot, wrists hinge in and out for the left hand. The weapon wielding hand pivots up and down. You can see right here that he has an ab cut. Let's get his arms up out of the way. You can see right there that he has his ab cut, that he can do a full 360 there. Doesn't really crank back much, doesn't really mm, crank forward much, but he does get some decent side-to-side -side tilt going on. His legs, amazingly enough, do come up to 90 fairly well. They'll go back fairly well. Out to the side, though, they only come out to there. There is a hidden um, uh, thigh cut underneath the large cuff of the boot, which I like. I always like when they hide things like that. Double-jointed knees that you can't really get in real tight, but it travels better than the arms do. No boot cut. Ankles rock back on some very tight detents. Ankles rock forward on some very tight detents. And there is a forward-facing pin for some rocker. And the detents in the ankles are difficult to find a flat spot. At least they were for me on mine. And when I was standing him up to measure him, he doesn't want to stand very well. It's almost like if you collect McFarlane figures, you'll know what I'm talking about. It's almost like you have to set the ankles like in between the detents, like right on the hump of one of the detents so that he can stay. Because if you click him back too far, which is there... He'll lean back too far, but if you click him forward, he'll want to pitch forward. So you kind of got to force that sweet spot to get him to stand up. So my recommendation, get this guy a figure stand. There aren't many accessories with our Holiday Purge Trooper, but one thing that we do get is this blaster rifle that I think looks pretty good. I like the white of the barrel. I like that they brought back the gold handle and the gold armrest or the gold shoulder rest for this. And I like the black that's on the stock 
that matches up with, you know, his boots and his shoulder pad right here. And he does have a trigger finger hand. You just take that, you pop it in and twist, and there he gets a really good grip on it. However, with the limitations of the articulation and the limitations of his uh, shoulders, it's hard to get him in a firing stance. He can get a decent two-handed grip on it. Oh, whoop, get in there. He can get a gr decent two-handed grip on it, like in a relaxed position, like guarding. But when I was playing around with him, it's kind of hard to get it up to a shouldered position because of the shoulder pad, because of the pads underneath that shoulder pad, the armor attachments there. But he does look good holding it. I do like that. Once again, though, just like with the um, the snow trooper that I got, I kind of wish it would have just been like the what is it the EU the E11 the standard stormtrooper blaster. I would have loved to have gotten that with him, but I can deal with this. That looks good. Another accessory that we got is the mouse droid right here, and it is done up in colors to complement the purge trooper. We have it molded mostly in gold with a black, a single black stripe going down it. And the wheels do spin. It's molded nicely. I mean, it is what it is. It's basically a slug with wheels. That, But really, what else do you expect for the mouse droid? And at first, I didn't think that the gold really matched up. But, I don't know, maybe when you hold it next to it, it still doesn't really match up. It looks more like <laughs> gingerbread. Like I should almost get some uh, paint markers. <laughs> And put some frosting on it and do this up like a uh, gingerbread house. A gingerbread mouse droid. Okay, now for size comparison. Here is our Holiday Purge Trooper next to what I believe is the only other Star Wars Black Series figure that I have open. Which was the 2023 Holiday Edition Snow Trooper. I do have other Black Series figures. I just haven't pulled them out of the box yet. Kind of like uh, Jaina right here. Here he is beside Fresh Monkey Fiction's Naughty or Nice Collection Sergeant Santa and Jazzwares Fortnite Slushy Soldier. Here he is beside Hasbro G.I. Joe Classified Series Cobra Trooper and Stalker. Here he is beside Jazzwares Spartan Collection Master Chief and I think this is a Spartan 4? Here he is beside Mattel Masterverse 40th Anniversary He-Man and Masters of the Universe movie Skeletor. Here he is beside Lanyard Toys, City Hunter Predator, and Xenomorph Drone. And finally, here he is beside NECA Toys, Dungeons & Dragons, War Duke, and Grimsword. So what is there to say about it? It's a holiday figure. It's a gimmick figure. It's not meant to be taken seriously. It's definitely not meant to be a must-have for collectors of the Black Series line. At least not in my opinion. However, it is fun. He looks great. Like, I really feel like that the Purge Trooper here, the, the Holiday Purge Trooper, with that soldier, that Nutcracker deco going on, I really feel like you could use this figure for other things if you wanted to outside of, like, the holiday season. Like, you could army build this thing, maybe make them, like, Royal Guards or something, just because of that bright red, the golds, the deco on it, like... That's one of the things that drew me to this figure was that it was taken, I don't want to say it was taken seriously, but there was actually some thought and some effort put into this one, whereas there have been other instances where it was basically like a scout trooper and his armor, his armor was painted up like an ugly sweater. And I think they did something like that with Boba Fett one year. Or they made like a Mandalorian that was done up like a gingerbread figure. That one actually would have been pretty clever. That one would have been interesting to have. But this one, I feel like there was actually some thought and some effort put into this one. And I really appreciate that. And I really like that. My only issues with this, because I don't really care about the articulation. Because it is a gimmick figure. And the articulation is fairly stiff. And it is fairly limited. But I also think that is a byproduct of the Black Series in general. My only issue with this is that it feels cheap. The plastic is very thin, the plastic feels very brittle, and I feel like this Purge Trooper may not be long for this world, that I may not have him for very many seasons before something just breaks off. 
I meant to do this at the beginning, but if you liked what we were doing, please leave a like on the video. I would greatly appreciate it. It really helps out the channel. I have to get into the habit of doing that, you know, at the start. Also, if you're not subscribed, go ahead and hit the subscribe button, please. That also would very much help out the channel. And according to the metrics, roughly 60 to 70 percent of you that are watching this aren't subscribed anyway. So just go ahead and hit that. And while you're down there, hit the notification button while you're at it. So I apologize if I missed some obvious points for the Black Series. I'm just not very well versed in that. However, what I am versed in is the G.I. Joe Classified. And with 2024 being the 60th anniversary of the G.I. Joe Classified series, we are going to be doing a lot of Classified this year. So come on back next time, my friends. And until then, play well, stay safe, stay healthy, and as always, thank you for watching.